Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of the most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Kato KA220W. It's an AM FM portable radio. I bought it for $15 from Amazon and here it is. Comes in a nice little white box, a little white radio. Some information on the front there. There's the radio through the plastic front. Got some bullet points on the side. Clock, alarm, sleep timer, key lock, backlit display, which looks really good, by the way. Get to see that. Over here, we have some specifications. AM band, 520, 10, FM band, 87 to 108. Those are locked in, 10K. And then, of course, the, that FM band is what you get. You can't change those. Just to tell you up front. And then a little bit of information there on dimensions. UPC code, if you need to know that. On the back here, you got illustration of the radio and more feature lists there on the side. Earphone jack, nice. What comes in the package and their contact information. So let's go and open this guy up. Now you guys know I like my little micro sized portable radios, and when I saw this, I had to have it. Empty box. Instructions on the bottom. Radio comes in this little plastic tray. Just pop it up from underneath. Toss that aside. We'll put this radio to the corner here. First thing you get here is the manual. This was well written uh, by somebody in New English. So I don't know if it was translated from Chinese to English, but uh, everything in here is perfectly understandable and easy to read. I was shocked. It was just a well-written manual. Everything's clear and concise. So you'll have no trouble understanding your product when you get this. And of course, more information on the back here, contact information and specifications. Okay, so we'll go over everything that this has. Pretty simple. Okay, let's get to the radio. There it is. So let's go ahead and bring this down. First thing I notice about this radio is its size. It is really thin. <laughs> it's just really cool that it's that thin. And that really large LCD display. Really cool. Those are the two big things I noticed on this radio that just really stood out. Uh, pretty neat for 15 bucks for radio. Uh, let's go ahead and go over size uh, dimensions here. We have two and a quarter inches across, four inches high, and a case depth around a half an inch. So they have that real slim case. Uh, let's do size comparison. I brought out the brother to the KE200, which is the Dajun DE333. Similar radio, similar case. Um, just this is the DSP version. I don't particularly like this DSP version. I'd rather have the Kato KE200 analog version, which I do own and I like to use. But this just gives an idea for size. And if you notice, it is shorter, but it's wider. Definitely a little wider format. There you go, give you an idea how that looks. Okay. Cool, and the next thing, we have a CC pocket. I always like to use this for reference. And then you can see how thick this is compared to the pocket. Definitely much thinner, about the same height. It's kind of cool to see. There you are. And last but not least, Iron Man deck of cards here. So you can get an idea how that looks there. Now it is taller than a deck of cards, but definitely narrower than a deck of cards. And definitely thinner than a deck of cards. There you go. Okay. So let's talk about the features of the Kato KA200W, uh, 220W, excuse me. The W means white, by the way, if you're wondering. I thought it meant weather. I'm like, oh, cool, weather radio, but no, it means white. Uh, it doesn't say it on this radio, but when you hit the listing, it'll say W. So when you go to check that out in the link below, you'll see when you go to the Amazon link, it'll say W. So features, uh, nothing on the left-hand side. I expected to see like a wrist strap or a lanyard or a spot to put one, but there's none on this radio. So no spot for wrist strap or carry strap. Uh, so on the front of the radio, nice big display like I mentioned, showing a 24-hour clock. That clock can only show 24 hours. It does not have an AM or PM mode. i let you know. Ketok A220. We have buttons here, which are labeled on the bezel, which is nice. Here we have a power and sleep function button. Here we have alarm, alarm set button. We have a AM, FM. This is multi-use right here, this middle one. AM, FM band select, time setting, and lock feature button. And of course, you're tuning down, tuning up. Seek down, seek forward. So, pretty nice. Here we have a little speaker, one and a half inches. And down here is where the batteries are at. Give you an idea. Right hand side, we have an analog volume control. Really smooth and easy. The only thing I don't like about this is this is a pocket radio, meant to definitely be in a pocket. You can just tell by its size. Um, they have a lockout button, but they put an analog volume control on the side here and it sticks up past the case. 
So this is going to, if you put this in your pocket, you're going to bump it. I guarantee it. So this was a, um, not a well thought out design. I hope if they, this radio is somewhat popular, they revise it and they put the volume control on top like they did the Dajun and the Kato. See how it's recessed and up on top there. That's the perfect spot for it and being recessed. That's key. It doesn't stick up. So yeah, hopefully they they've addressed that problem with that volume control. Uh, one thing I noticed I did not like about it. Um, Okay, I gotta tell you guys about the radio. Uh, top here, we have the antenna. Okay, watch out. This is super long. <laughs> Fits on frame, look at that. Uh, six and a half inch antenna. Um, headphone jack, uh, so headphone jack. Interesting thing, uh, when you plug in your headphones, the headphones acts as your antenna. It doesn't really improve reception, it just acts as your antenna. I did a test with this, the built-in antenna, and then hooking up my headphones on FM, and it was the same reception capability, which I thought I'd get better with the headphones, but I did not. Um, also, you get a lot of low end, not a lot, of, not a lot of mids, and not a lot of highs, especially uh, muffled and low toned on the medium wave band. I didn't enjoy it on AM at all, uh, but on FM it was it was tolerable. Uh, DSP AM FM pocket radio. On the back here we got frequency chart again, batteries it takes two AAA batteries. Their information. Cool thing about this little radio, it does have a battery compartment where the door is hinged and attached to the radio, so you don't lose it. I like that feature a lot. And here we have two AAA batteries. The top battery, the positive, is to the left, and the bottom battery, the positive, is to the right. For those that need to know. It's pretty easy to do on camera, except I think I got a little piece of that strap here hanging out. Wait a second. There we go. All right, so let's talk about FM reception, then we'll do an audio check with this. So FM reception. FM sensitivity was uh, okay to good, right in the middle. I have a five-star rating. It starts out fair, okay, good, very good, excellent, and okay to good is two and a half star. It's right in the middle. It seems to be the average uh, on all my analog radios, so this fits in right there with the analog radios. I'd expected more from a DSP on FM, but with the short antenna and the not uh, heavily utilized uh, headphone jack antenna, I wasn't getting anything extra than that. So that was a bummer. I really tried. <laughs> I was moving this radio all over different, different directions, moving the headphone wire everywhere, trying to get the best reception. And yeah, I couldn't couldn't push past that 48 station mark. Um, the FM selectivity though was good uh, because it's DSP. It does lock in between stations fairly well with minimal bleed over, so it gets a good rating, a three star rating on the FM selectivity. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on. You get to see that back, back light, side light. It's really pretty. It's really bright. I like that. Here right away you can see the frequency FM where you're at, and you'll see there's a little. Do it in the bed there, the sleep icon. And right now it's set up at 90 minutes. Now while the radio's on, you can change that. So you press and hold power, and then you just tap at the button to whatever amount of minutes you want to set that for. It remembers that the next time you turn the radio on, you could have it off or up to 90 minutes. We'll leave it on 90 minutes. We'll wait for that to go off there. Okay, and then uh, let's see here. So that's uh, set up on Radio Tidebert. We'll turn this up. Now that I've noticed the speaker is fairly tinny.
Okay, get an idea there. I'll turn that down. I'll go ahead and turn off that stuff there. Okay. So that was a little bit of an audio test to get an idea. I use a C Crane FM transmitter too off to the side here. This is what I use. Hooked up to an MP3 player, tuned at 92.9 with my MP3 player attached. And of course you can adjust what frequency you want to put this transmitter on. This works out really good to showcase the music on the radios. So there's that. All right, so let's go ahead and cruise the AM band. Now it's during the day here, so switch bands. We will, so right now it should just be static. Switch the AM band. I think I turned off and make noise, yeah. Okay, so uh, I noticed that the AM band was kind of quiet. It did pick up some semi-distant stations last night, late at night. It got about, uh, I want to say about, Four to 500 miles, pretty good. Anything past that, it would quiet down. You can hear it quieting down right now um, as you use it. It's 5.02 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time near Chicago, Illinois. Give me an idea of the time. We'll just tune, we'll probably get our locals. Could not list, so it was daytime stations. WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. With Dell Small Business Technology Advisors, you'll get the tech, advice, and one on one partnership to help your business. 560, the the answer, Chicago, Illinois. You can focus on what matters most, getting business done. Call 877-BY-DELL to speak with an advisor today. That's 877-BY-DELL. Staples has the supply chain. This is our band in Illinois. So during the day, it has a hard time picking up farther stations. This is a... Uh, W-I-L-L, about 150 miles away. And to give you an idea, um, I believe it, the bigger radios can do them. Let's turn on the pocket here and tune in 580 and see what it sounds like on that. Not spectacular, but you can hear somebody talking. On this radio, not a whole lot happening. Okay. Now, a food hall and grace move are expected to be completed later this year. Mike Spaulding, WTMJ News. Coming up when duty calls. WTMJ News time 506. This report sponsored by... So this is uh, 620, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Number one health clinic. Erectile dis... Here's WMFN, Pieto, Illinois. So yeah, it's rather tinny, but I guess if you turn it down, you can up, you can like it uh, as far as listening to, <clears throat> without hurting your ears too much. I want to mention you can stand this radio up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, for a thin radio, I didn't expect it to stand, but it stands. This table's a little bit of a slant. <laughs> This is 720 WGN Chicago. And of course you can seek. Press and hold and it'll seek. Press and hold. Let go. So that's pretty nice. But the doctors at Northwest Community Healthcare can get you back on track. Our nationally recognized cardiologists... This is WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. A little further away. I think it's about 70 miles. In the 
express lanes is 35 to O'Hare, inbound almost an hour from O'Hare into the Jane Byrne 30 and from Montrose. Up on Dyke, 35 to Manhattan, WBBM, minutes to Route 390, inbound on the Eisenhower, taking 47 to get downtown from Route 390, 32 minutes in from Mannheim. Up on Stevenson, sluggish in spots from the Rhine, right, pretty much to pass Route... Catches you up to where we are in this, but here's what happened yesterday. Here's a 20 WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 37 miles away. Into a presidential election. Close. The Department of Justice <laughs> Music there at 850 is WAIT, Crystal Lake, Illinois. I'm not expecting to find WKAR here in East Lansing, Michigan. <laughs> We're going to skip that. This is WLS Chicago. I pitch wine on all my radios because of the camera. Yeah, it's not really good on this French station. Like this is uh, Milwaukee here. WOKY, just not really picking it up. 930. WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. Yeah, it's hard to listen to these stations. This is WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Barely legible. I guess we'll just go for the strong stations. WMTA Chicago. WHA Madison, Wisconsin. Full volume. Hoping about it, hoping, hyping it up, and then as you get closer and closer, it starts to build more. Uh, and then I think I was WMDP, Chicago, Illinois. ESPN 1000. You know, how could a ball actually go in from this sort of location with the slope and how much room he barely had to, to, to work with. And so that was kind of, I was more in shock uh, in that moment. Um, and, you know, but at the same time, it was so great to be able to do it with the guys here. Uh, and so many of us would just happen to be, you know, meet on that one hole to actually. This is WNBR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Okay, we got music there on 1050, WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ten seventy WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. That's a surprise. WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. Barely picking some of these up. But it's got enough strong stations around the area where it makes it viable still. This is a WMBI, Chicago. Colon cancer is preventable, treatable, and beatable. So can a colonoscopy really save your life? WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, you know. So get serious and get in here. An organic experience mm. all the way from the opening to the closing. So, so why do you think the connecting of the dots thing is so this rare? This is and WYLL, like Chicago, Illinois. Christian station. Over breakfast, but I, I think that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can get the score. I haven't tried. Here it is, 1180. The squirrel. WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. Uh, great that I can get that. I'm pretty happy. Nice. WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. I did notice at night, uh, if you give it time, the signal does improve and get louder and louder, so... You have to give it some time. 
WKRS, well, Keegan, uh, Illinois, just kind of a bad signal. WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. I don't think I can find anything else up here. I look for stations that. I'll let it seek now. See what it finds. This is the way that they want to. Their goal is to provide the fitting experience so for all their clients by inviting and offering beautiful sportswear and swimwear and undergarments for you to have. So they've got some events that are going to be coming up. It's called Bear Moxie. It's the Every Miss Boutique. You can step into the room and get to designed to help you look and feel beautiful inside and out. Anybody wants to go check it out, we have got certificates available. I guess it's pretty popular in this area. I was not familiar with it, but they have sports bras. They've got special occasion bras, maternity okay. bras. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, we'll go up to the top here. 1590 is WCGO, and it's no more. Okay, so we'll let it go stop. Adele, yeah, that'll be tomorrow morning, we believe, unless they push it up to later today. Remember, it's two hours earlier here, but it'll probably be tomorrow morning. Um, but but they are doing their best here. Uh, all the press conferences that have taken place so far have been about this. positive aspects of what's going Key on in the last up. year. Uh, Interesting about the key lock is usually so you don't adjust your volume or your tuning. These buttons are pretty hard to press. So having a key lock with an analog volume control just doesn't make any sense. Seeing a digital volume control would have been nice. I do like analog volume control, though. It is a better sounding experience. But this needs to be up here. I think I mentioned that already. But there's your key lock. Press and hold to turn it off. Showed you the sleep function. The alarm. You can set the alarm on here. The little alarm symbol. Tap it quick to turn it off. So yeah, pretty basic radio. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Do our thoughts, final thoughts on this radio. How about Mr. Kraft? It's quick. Uh, at some point, we're going to find out what the league is. Quick press to turn off the radio. So there you go. There's nice. Like I said, I like that screen. I like how nicely lit that is. You know, that's a bonus on that. So, okay, let's talk about the uh, overall impressions of the radio. Uh, the Keto KE220W. Do I recommend this radio? Fifteen bucks. I don't know. <laughs> it's it is a, one of those radios where you have to judge yourself on this one because of this volume control. Again, if this volume control is up here and it was recessed like like this style here, uh, where it has a notch for the volume, that would have been perfect. If they could do that with this radio, I guess they just didn't have the room or something. I don't know. Probably because of the screen. Even putting it in the corner like they did here, uh, it just would have been a better setup or a digital control, just two buttons on the side. I'm sure that'd probably be easier. And then you just have the lockout feature. Just, just implement a good digital volume control. Uh, that would have made this perfect. Um, I would like to have seen that um, on this radio. Would have made it an absolute winner. But at 15 bucks, there's a lot of competition in the $15 space. Uh, for digital pocket radios, this thin, not so many, though. I mean, this is a really thin radio and very small. And I think this has got a lot of radios beat for that size uh, range. Um, but... Again, it's one of those things where there is a lot of competition out there that you might spend a little extra or get a little bigger radio uh, just because you want, say, presets, which this does not have. Um, this doesn't have any presets. Uh, will that bother you? I don't know. Um, does it bother me? No, because I'm only using this for local stations since it doesn't do very well on distant stations. Um, so I just do my local stations, tune to what I want, probably my sports station, and walk around with it. Again, probably holding this radio in my hand while I walk, probably for the summertime. Um, or maybe find a way to strap on like on the wrist or something somewhere where it won't bump the volume control and then you got yourself a decent radio you can listen to outside but uh, yeah overall it gets a maybe buy for me it might be good for you it might not be good for you it's one of those things where you have to weigh the benefits you know do you want this do you want an analog radio you know like the sony p26 it's bigger it's not as easy to put in the pocket uh, but it's uh you know it's a quality radio and it's analog but you might like this idea of a clock and, and a digital display. So just a lot of factors to consider. Um, hopefully I showed them all to you. You have a basic idea what this radio can and cannot do. 
Uh, but overall, I'm glad I bought it. I actually think it's a neat uh, addition to my collection. So there we are. Uh, if you enjoyed the presentation of the KA220W, Kato, uh, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome, always. Uh, two, if you're new to the channel, like Kato radios in general, uh, I like them also. I tend to pick up one here and there when I can. Uh, just hit subscribe at the bell icon if you haven't already. Get notified of future videos. Maybe we'll do a band scan with this one in the evening so you have an idea what this sounds like at night uh, in my area. I usually can pick up quite a bit. And uh, this one was doing okay last night. Uh, I was even picking up Atlanta, just right on the fringe. That 600-mile distance was just picking that up. I did get WCBS up, out 750 miles away, barely, again, but it was picking it up. Uh, but I did get to the closer in stations, like uh, 300 miles, you know, like your KMOX and WHAS, WCCO, you know, all the ones within 300 miles, three to 400 miles of me were coming in pretty nice. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Alrighty, great. And, of course, comment below what you think about the new Kato ka 200 220 W, uh, would be something you would buy. Uh, do you like the big display? Uh, do you find the volume on the side a problem, like me, or do you not? Is that no big deal to you? Let me know. Oh, and do you like how it stands? I love how it stands. Even for a thin little radio, it stands up. It's a big deal to me. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and goodbye.